Gitaristredactie is zoals elk jaar weer op de NEM Show in Anaheim. En uh, we zullen zo naar binnen gaan om je mee te nemen langs een aantal uh, mooie producten die we hebben gezien. Hi, we're here at NAMM. My name is Chuck Hall. And uh, I'm demoing the new Michael Landau Hot Rod DeVille amps for Fender. And what we have here is an amp built in conjunction with Michael Landau himself, known as a guitarist, guitarist, and a very accomplished studio guy. He and um, our engineers at Fender got together and took a Hot Rod DeVille and created the kind of platform he wanted to use. He's known for using Hot Rod DeVilles, he actually uses two of them. And we made a few changes in the interest of giving him what he wanted. On a regular Hot Rod amp, you have a drive circuit and uh, more drive and extra gain available. That's all been taken out of this. And, um, We've replaced that with the volume one, a volume two, and a six dB boost. I'll demonstrate that in just a second. It has the Celestion V-type speaker, which is a cross between a greenback and a vintage 30. And one of the touches that Michael wanted was he wanted the speakers hand soldered, the connections, as opposed to being just pressed, clipped on. So uh, all these little details add up to a great, clean, tube tone foundation. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that for you. That's, that's volume one with a little bit of delay on it. And I'm gonna show you how the, the volume thing works. It's all foot switchable. You got volume one, a great clean tone at a certain level. You can set volume two at a little bit different level. So it gives you more of that great clean tone. And then there's a six dB boost that operates on volume two. And it's another step up. So you can set three great levels of the same clean tone and one of the reasons we're so concerned about keeping the amp sounding that clean is Michael likes to use a lot of pedals that's how he gets his grit and he has his delay set up in stereo so the idea is you have a great foundational tone and then when you run the pedals through it it just sounds that much better so a drive Then a distortion. And a chorus. And I'll give you a little demonstration of how this all works together. We staan hier in de stand van Aristides en uh, Aristides heeft uh, voor deze show de 060 uh, Triple S uitgebracht met drie single coils. 060 is het uh, rockmodel wat ze eerder dit jaar al uh, hadden uitgebracht. En het bijzondere aan deze gitaar is dat je hem uh, uh, in twee humbuckers kan krijgen, uh, drie single coils en uh, ook met één humbucker twee single coils of humbucker single coil humbucker en dat is allemaal mogelijk omdat uh, de ruimte 
Waar de elementen invallen, die wordt pas achteraf uh, ingevreesd. En dat was bij eerdere modellen van Aristides niet het geval, waardoor die een vaste configuratie hebben. Dit is dus de eerste uh, gitaar waarbij je een flexibele configuratie hebt. En we gaan hem zo horen. and today I'm going to show you the uh, Blues Cube amplifier. Basically I'm just going to give you a quick comparison so you can hear the difference. Here's the amplifier without the capsule and uh, a bit of clean first. With a uh, crunch. Then the Eric Johnson version sounds like this. This is the clean. Uh, and then the famous crunch channel, like this. And then when you use the uh, the dual tone, that gives you um, the clean and the crunch at the same time. So. Pedals pretty well. Uh, here's the clean as well with the blues driver. Uh, super overdrive uh, as well. Uh, you can put them together. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're 
I'm Andy Powers with Taylor Guitars. I'm here with a new 616 model. Now this is an instrument I'm really proud of because as we look forward into 20 years in the future, 40 years into the future, we look at the condition of the forests. We think, well, the maple forests, those are in healthy condition. They're well managed. They're well harvested. That's a wood that I can count on. And so in order to to plan for that and count on that, I wanted to build a guitar that was a more broadly appealing type of instrument. Something that appealed to more players as a primary instrument, not, not necessarily a niche type, uh, type wood. And so I set about building this guitar to enhance its complexity, the richness on the low end, the sustain. So I worked on the color, the aesthetic parts. Everything that went into this guitar, every component to maximize what it could be. So the top I'm using a torrified Sitka spruce top with bracing that's been special altered for every one of these body shapes. The bracing and the bridge are assembled with a traditional protein based glue to maximize sound transfer. It has an ultra 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 thin finish that we had first developed with our 800 series guitars. So all of these different elements they add up into an instrument that's far more expressive far richer and more gratifying overall. It's a, it's a very player reflective type of guitar, which is one of Maple's unique characteristics. And that's the one that I really wanted to, to maintain as I worked on this design. So if a player approaches the guitar very bright, the guitar will respond brightly. If they play it dark and warm and sweet, it'll be dark and warm. So it's a very, uh, it's a real musically expressive type of instrument for a lot of playing styles. So we're tremendously proud of this instrument and I invite, uh, invite the players to give it a go, find one at the local dealer and, and uh, by all means, play some good music with it. Tot zover onze korte video impressie van de NAMM show. Veel meer nieuws kan je lezen in Gitarist en uh, op de website de dagverslagen. En natuurlijk ook op onze Facebookpagina.